And this is probably by far the, the finest, you know, turning it into a, uh, a distilled, uh, b distilled beverage. A distilled As a food beverage. science professor at Oregon State University, Lisbeth Goddick has overseen a lot of pretty cool projects. But this latest one is, well, just read the slogan on the back of her shirt. It says way too cool. That's way, as in the byproduct of cheese, something Goddick and her students make a lot of inside this building. This is our dairy center in here. But every time yeah. they gear up. This is the privilege we have. And, and make that cheese. We wear boots. They also create a lot of waste. You see, 90% of the milk used in the cheese making process comes out as whey. That's this yellow colored creamy looking stuff. And while large companies like Tillamook can buy expensive equipment to turn that whey into things like protein powders, the smaller cheese makers cannot. And because that whey is very bad for the environment, it can cause algae and waterways. Disposing of it costs a lot of money. Basically all the alternatives that creameries have now, the small scale creameries, ends up costing them money. This is our um, small scale distillation setup. We've got a so researchers here at OSU have found a way to convert that way into this. Yeah, I think it's cool. What they call a neutral spirit, what we call vodka. We found a way to ferment it with a relatively unusual yeast. Paul Hughes heads up the distilling part of the process. He says his next step is to fine-tune the taste of the alcohol, which he says does need a little fine-tuning, but really isn't all that bad. No cheese. No, no cheese. An environmentally friendly way to turn would-be waste into a profit. I would absolutely, I'd, yeah. And maybe even have a little fun along the way. Yeah, make up some Bloody Marys and <laughs> it'd be great. Now the researchers say they will be spending their summer here working to improve the taste of their vodka. They say their next step is to scale up production. Back to you. Thank you, Keely.